Is he the best player in the 757 as of right now? I mean, I'm yeah, he, 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 like high major kids that they can play on that level. It's just a matter of like if you got a slot them, it's kind of tough because somebody might shoot the ball better than somebody else. And like Jaden is just an animal. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And Donald Han, he good. And and you got a couple other kids. I mean, it just you know, yeah, it's kind of hard to just slide them, man. Yeah, they be shooting from pulling from deep. Yeah, well, yeah you can be at least three of them <laughs> volleyball lines. That's a fact. Every yeah. time he shot the ball, the whole crowd. Woo! <laughs> And but don't get me wrong, he is a walking, he is a walking show. Hey, Jay Nepps, man, he, he bring the crowd with him. Every game I done went to, it is, man. It's been sold out of pack, so mm -hmm. I mean, you gotta call it how you see it, dude. So they play Lakeland this Friday, right? They play Lakeland this Friday. Should they play what you call it? Throw green one Saturday. Yeah, the crazy yeah. thing about it is that's gonna be sold out to both yeah. those games. Dang. So y'all got the push brand. What uh how's it been going? Last time none of y'all was here, just you was here. Y'all was starting it, but then you start. How's it been going since well, you started? I mean, we we've been we've been expanding, being aggressive. It's just uh like we tell anybody, it's it's a grind. And you gotta be willing to put the work in. It's you know, anything that you do, if if you're not getting you know what I'm saying, if it's not gifted, then you gotta put the work in. And you'll see like programs come and programs will go, but it's the guys who are willing to put the work in and grind and keep it going that's that's gonna survive. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I mean that's that's with anything. Like when you go to work every day, you might start at the bottom, you got the grind to get to the top. That's how it works. The team we got, we we, we wanna put the work in. So we gonna put the work in until we get to where we think we need to be. And we ain't gonna stop until we do. That's how that works. They're trying to get established like a Boo Williams type team or team loaded. How y'all on building? We try to do a team push type thing. <laughs> <laughs> All those guys is good. Uh -huh. you know I mean, you gotta respect what they've done for the game. But we younger guys. Mm -hmm. We're doing it our way. So however that goes, it goes. But we just taking it one step at a time. And I think we're gonna grow to a really big program. But like you said, we're getting it from the mud. We just grinding. How did uh, the last year's situation end up? How did it go? Was it good for y'all, do you think? Yeah, I think it went well. I think it went better than expected. Uh -huh. And then just coming back for year two, one thing that we told them to, I was like, man, we gonna get down. We wanna make sure it's not a no saying a one a one year thing. I see another program. <laughs> it, it, he not there no more. He not doing it no more. What happened? I don't know. Uh, I mean, we'll talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, a lot of, man, you know how many phone calls I got, like, damn, you been down with them guys, and it's just like, yeah, man, they the hometown team, you know what I'm saying, they been genuine to us, so why not, and uh, shit, we back for for year two, so, you know what I'm saying, they definitely kept their word on that. Mm -hmm. So y'all, cause y'all both was with, all y'all was with Logan. Yeah, 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 at one point, yeah. Just we was with 804 at the time. Mm. So there's a lot to sort through, but, uh. You know, with like I said, we building this brand from the ground up. So, I mean, you are gonna take it how you get it. That's how it works. Like I know, like every time I'm in the gym, I see somebody from y'all organization in the gym as well. Yeah, <laughs> it's a, it's a lot of y'all. Yeah, well, I mean, I mean, we grind. It's it's easy way to go get a pair of sneakers and a book bag mm -hmm. and give it to a kid and say he play for us. That's easy. Yeah, yeah. Anybody can do that. That's not what we're about. Mm -hmm. um, so we want the kids to work and earn it, and then those things will come. But uh, we're not going to dangle that in front of the kid's face. Going to get some sneakers and a book bag. 
now you're doing something big. Uh, that ain't how that works. I know, like he just said, we was in the 804, but we from the beach, though. We on the base side. Yeah. So it's definitely about us, you know what I'm saying, getting out to those games and letting the kids, you know what I'm saying, letting the coaches, letting the parents see our face. So that's what's important for us to do. Yeah. So what's your background in basketball? Because I know you went to PA, then you went to... Oak Tree. Oak Tree. You was at Bayside. You went to Bayside. Yeah. Deep Creek. Creek, yeah. Creek, boy. Ah, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Look here, man. But, hey, look, we had our day back in the day. We had our day back in the day. Oh, no, we had a run back in the day. Don't, don't. Yeah, I did. That's a serious suck now. <laughs> uh, what made y'all want to become coaches? Or? Uh, no, I guess just growing up, you know what I'm saying, around the game. You know what I'm saying? When we was coming up in the mid. 2000s, mm -hmm. the Beach District was crazy back then. Yeah, yeah. So you know what I'm saying, just, just seeing those games. It's crazy how it kind of fell off. It's just like certain schools, or oh, it'd be like one team would have a good player, but that's mm -hmm. about it. But I feel like it's because of everybody just, yeah. all the academies that they got now, so yeah. you can go to any school that you want to. Yeah. And I feel like the Beach is not recruiting like other cities are. Mm -hmm. I mean, the beach definitely <laughs> recruited. You know, they definitely recruited from other schools in the beach. You yeah, know, so yeah, you don't yeah. see a lot of kids leaving the beach to go elsewhere. It's more so, oh, I'm not gonna go to this school in the beach. I'm gonna go to another school in the beach. Yeah, yeah okay. Like that, that, that gotta stop, man. <laughs> <laughs> that, that gotta stop. But how do you, how do you prevent that? She can't. Uh, is I. I Wholeheartedly, you can't. All you can do is, uh, you know, you talk, you talk to the, you talk to the parents, you talk to the players. But I don't, I don't see it stopping. I think everybody, people are gonna make, make things happen regardless. They are gonna get their child to where they want to. Mm -hmm. But I, like you say, as we, as we see it, man, sometimes those situations don't be the great spot for those kids, and then they suffer for it. And then now you're looking at the outside in, when you, you know, you could have been in a better situation. So. For us, I know at Bayside, man, we just got we we just grinding, man. We we super grinding, honestly. They got a grinding. nice point guard though. Yeah, he coming yeah. along, man. We got definitely got a young boy that's coming along. That's gonna make a name for itself. He definitely is. We lost our bid. He went down with the ACL, but you know, as I, I see a lot of our young guys growing, so we just we just grinding, man. If you gonna come, you gonna come. If not, you know what I'm saying? We not crying, man. We not shed yeah. no tears. I mean, we, that's how we been doing it. So, I mean, like we said, we from we from that area, so it's. It's kind of embedded. We we trying to get them on. I know you asked about the background. It was just in a, in a sense of I know for me, I wanted to get in the coaching game. You know, just to get back. I know we didn't have those type of mentors or guys when we was in school. So it was just like, what can you do to help the next child get the dream that he's trying to get to? Yeah. Regardless of what it is, you know what I'm saying? It could be NBA, um, shit, MLB, football. We all we all down the board. But when we said the basketball, it could be any any level of basketball. You just want to help the kid out. And, and and I think that's what that's why we we vouch for these guys because they say they're doing it for the kids. It's not for them, for themselves. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I see a lot of guys out here trying to do it for themselves and not for the kids. But they'll sell you that story and then people go with it, man. So you know you just gotta be able to weed that stuff out, though. I know last time when you was on the show, you was like you was working for office. You you want your kids to get off? Is that, is that still the goal? That's the, that's always <laughs> the name of the game. I mean, think about it is it's like like I said, placement is everything. It's we, I don't, like I said, we don't care if you go Division One, Division Two, Division Three, NAIA, you can go JUCO, I, that don't, it doesn't matter. The fact of the matter is, is 1% out of all of these kids to play, get the chance to play next level mm -hmm. after high school. That's how it works. So anytime we can get, help these kids get placement, or get seen by coaches, to give them the opportunity to even have that chance, that's that's what we work for. That's the goal that we work for as far as, you know, putting kids in school. Like last year, you figure we put every one of our 17 U kids in school. Mm -hmm. I mean, every one of them. I mean, you figure the last one to, to get in was like AJ and, you know, that was that was complete net class. And then even with this year, like the majority of our kids are done. Mm -hmm. The majority of them are done. It's just like, just a matter of, you know, helping out you know, a couple more kids here and there, but the fact of the matter is, is if we're putting kids in school, we doing our, we we doing what we here, you know what I'm saying, what we blessed to do, help these kids out in, in our area. That's how it works. How can, like, I know a lot of the kids that was on your team was talented, but in the books, they wasn't qualified, not all of them. Yeah. 
How, how can y'all run that? I know y'all both in public school. You still out of Catholic school, right? No. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I'm doing all push. Oh, no, for real. 100%. You got, I, ain't you, doing, I, got, I haven't been to a Catholic We got school. a lot going on, though. Yeah. We got it. So he, I he, know y'all doing yeah. lady push as well. Yeah. What made y'all want to do that as well? It's, I mean, same thing. It's just like <laughs> helping, helping kids. It's just like we ain't trying to, you know, singular, you know, put single on just the boys program. We just, you know, all the girls don't get opportunities either. So then you gotta, you know, try to forge your way into there. I mean, you got a couple of girls programs around here that that are doing their thing, and you know, it's it's good. But we we had to we had to put a stamp on that market too. Mm -hmm. So yeah, they market big. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I feel like they going to school more than the boys. Yeah, it was in the gym earlier today. My sixth grade team studs. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. We one team in the state. Follows. <laughs> well, how do you recruit a player to play for team push? I mean, you, you just got to sell the program, sell them, sell them what you give them. I mean, the, the fact of the matter is, is, you know, we might not have everything that the other programs have. Like, we might not be able to, you know, give you two, three pairs of sneakers just to do it and say, come play for us and let you play for free. That's besides, I mean, if you can do that, then by all means, I mean, go, if that's, if that's your move, go over there and play because that's not what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. the, thing, the fact of the matter is, is our kids are getting in school on scholarship offers that they can sign. Yeah. Not just offers from schools that say, okay, well, we're going to offer this kid. Okay, that's great. Yeah, let me go sign that scholarship because I want to go here. Oh no, nah, we we can't we can't take you. Our, our offers are uh, favors. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they, hey, they're legit offers, man. They're legit offers. Like if if you call any of these schools that that offered any of our kids, they'll say, "Yo, man, we'll take that kid." And that's what we're building our program on. It's like we're not asking for no favors from nobody. We want to be able to take this kid and say, "Look at this kid right here. This kid can play." And have that coach say, "Hey, man, I want him." And we do a good job marketing our kids, of course, with the help of uh, Seven Cities Hoops. <laughs> I mean, and, and you know, that's, that's the name of the game. Either you're going to get down and say, okay, well, you know, I, they got, they got what, what I need. Or you can go somewhere else and say, well, I'm going to go ahead and play for this program and that program. And, you know, roll the dice. And if it worked for you, it worked for you. And if it don't, you can't say we didn't give you a chance. You gotta wanna play for the brand though too. Yeah. Like if you don't wanna play and you just doing it because you ain't make this team or that team, it's not gonna work. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be able to get along with the directors, get along with the coaches, get along with your teammates. So if you ain't trying to get down with team push, don't even try to come over. Here. <laughs> <laughs> you want people that really, you know what I'm saying, that wanna play for us, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Help us, you know what I'm saying, expand, expand our brand and get bigger. So. Are y'all playing in the hoop, hoop group. Playing hoop group again. We were, I mean, think about it is, like I said, I mean, they've been good to us. Yeah. So we stay, you know, allegiant to them. You know what I'm saying? I mean, those guys, man, they call when ain't, ain't nobody calling. They made the call and won't nobody calling. Everybody's like, yeah, first year program. Nah, I got a call from hoop group. Say, yo, man, we want you guys with us. So even last year when after, you know, so called everybody allegedly thought, Oh, but but Terrence ain't with y'all, Push ain't with y'all and all the rest of that stuff and then when they found out he was, of course we started getting more calls because oh we could get we can get y'all in the building, maybe we can get, yeah. I mean come on man. So I mean we, we stay we, we, we stay faithful to who who been rocking with us, man. What like do, what do you say to a kid that because y'all playing hoop group, y'all don't play in a, what is it, a sneaker? The gauntlet. Yeah, or a gauntlet. Yeah, yeah, circuit, yeah. circuit. What, what, do you, what would you say to those kids? I mean, you. All oh, parents. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be real to yourself. Yeah, you gotta be real to yourself. We live in an era where you know, a lot of people want to say they hire major kids and have zero offers. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, the, that's the world we live in. Everybody want to post 35 offers. You only can pick one school, but like, but that's that's what we live in today. So, um, you know, we we are a lot of our kids gonna be big major kids, mm -hmm. and we're gonna have some high major kids in there. But when you come to play for Team Push, you gonna get marketed well, and it, it's up to you to perform on the court. Yeah. And we're gonna put you in the right predicament, the right place where the coach is at, and the rest up to you. Why do you think 
Jordan Battle isn't getting marketed well. Um, I, I feel like he averaging a triple double. Is it because he's playing for Norfolk Collegiate and they uh, playing a sorry team? I haven't really seen their schedule, um, <laughs> but I just think he's he made some wrong decisions on teams. Mm -hmm. um, I think he would fit well with our program. Uh, and in front of the coaches that we play with, I think he would do well. Because when y'all was with Loaded, he was playing on the he was playing on the younger team. Yeah, and then he switched over. But I don't never see I never seen a picture of him in the blue jersey. Nothing. I mean, I, <laughs> I mean, he's a he's a good kid. I mean, he can play. It's obvious that the talent is there. It's just a matter of yeah, like him being seen. He has to be seen by the right coaches. It's right. just like. I, I tell kids all the time, like you, maybe you, maybe they don't understand the game. Maybe their parents don't understand the game. Maybe they're just being talked to, and you know, they they get the sweet nothings in the air, making them think that they are what they kind of really aren't. Cause like a lot of the kids around here, even when I talk to coaches, they say, "Man, that kid's a great mid major kid. Great, that's all you hear, a great mid major kid." So it's like when you hear somebody they and they're talking high major, like you got to be like. Bro, like, I, I don't, me personally, there's only a handful of high majors right In this area, yeah. Only a handful. And to be honest with you, if there are high majors around here, they're gods. Because we don't have any true bigs around here. Like, even, like, you figure, the biggest kid around here. He left, David, Dave. Yeah, it, it was Dave. Yeah, he left. And he left. So, you're talking about. Like okay, like the game last night. You got John Hines. John Hines is six, what six three, six four, mm -hmm. maybe. He's a wing, next level. Yeah. yeah but he's playing all five in high school. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's exactly. Him and Dom. Oh, exactly. Dom. Dom. So I mean, Dom is nice. But I don't think I don't think a lot of the kids understand it. I don't think they they see that. And then like I said, it goes back to what I said last year. If guys like Mike Christopher, Mike Christmas, 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 who are around here killing you? AJ James around here killing you. And, they go to mid -major. and they're going to mid-major schools. How do you think you're going to succeed? <laughs> what they did, mm. and you're not might not even be half the player, or have half the bring half the intensity to the floor that they did. How? I mean, that when it, it comes to a point where you got to be honest with yourself. Yeah. Like the coach said, you got to be honest with yourself and say, look, man, okay. That might not be my lane. I'm gonna I'm get in my lane and I'm gonna make it work for me. That's why some kids you be like, man, that dude, he got a lot of offers, but he, he that might be the lane that he in. He might know where he's supposed to be going. A lot of kids don't realize that. They don't. You see him at like they, like who goes and spend no and no disrespect to anybody, but who will go spend four five hundred dollars at a UNC camp to stay there for a week? When you already know they're not going to even offer anybody in the damn camp. <laughs> like, why? Why? Why would you even do that? Yeah. For the experience? You want to say that you went? Pictures. <laughs> okay, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Like, team push, how did y'all get pushed up behind the situation? I feel like you say you had a relationship with him, right? Yeah, one of, one of my good friends, man, is, is cool with Terrence. And uh, I told him what we were doing and how we wanted to help kids from this area. And, um, Called up Terrence. Terrence said, "Yeah, let's sit down and talk." Uh, we all had a gathering at my friend's house, and um, I told him what we was doing and what we're doing for the kids. And he said, "I'm in. Let me know what you need, and we've been rolling um, ever since that point. You know, we've got a heck of a staff, um, and we've been rolling, man. It has been good. He's been good to us. Shout out to Terrence. Shout out to Juice Bar. Yes, sir. Uh, Dan and Dan and Nissan." <laughs> Uh, there's a couple of sponsors. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Those guys have been really good to us, man. So that's 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 a, pretty much for that. Mm. How is it um, for y'all? How is it different from coaching public school to coaching AAU? <laughs> 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 I know you can't pick and choose who's on your team or in your area. Yeah, but well, for us, it's much of a grind. We know we know we, we know what type of roster we got when it comes to public school or at the high school. But then when you know you're getting out, we get into these games and you see these other players, man. It's just like, all right, now you gotta, you know, you gotta decipher who you, who you gonna pick, man. And it's kind of it's it, it is hard, but like we say, we we can only we can only like what we like. The kid gonna make the decision. So regardless of if we want a kid on the team or not, it's just like 
he ain't gonna pick and choose. They are like Coach said earlier. They may go to two other workouts and then be like, "That's my third option." Mm -hmm. We don't want that third option. It should be in your mind because you, you you should want to grind. You should want to be able to get out there and prove other people wrong. You know what I'm saying? To, to be able to say, um, in the sense of, I'm not getting those offers. I think I should get. So let me grind harder and, and go out here and bust somebody's ass. Yeah, that's, I remember that happened. That's how it should be. Yeah. Uh, one of you when you had um, the tryout. Mm -hmm. I forgot where it was, I think Norfolk Collegiate, and I was recording and some of the kids didn't want to get in the video because they said the other AU team coach would get mad. They were like that. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, y'all get a lot of, how do y'all pick and choose who's going to be on the team? Because I mean, it'd be hella kids well, coming I mean, to y'all tryouts. I mean, at the end of the day, it's all about the fit, like what type of system we want to, you know what I'm saying, we want to run. I'll tell you right now, we need tough, gritty players. You know what I'm saying? They gotta be mentally strong more than anything, cause you know what I'm saying. When you get a lot of a lot of people complain about not playing on the circuit team, but you know what I'm saying. When you get that chance to to play the circuit team, you know what I'm saying. You can't back down. You can't lay down. That's that's when you gotta prove yourself. Mm -hmm. So more than anything, man, you gotta be mentally you gotta be mentally tough, man. I have seen so many players say that they should be on the circuit team, but when they get that opportunity, man, they just fold. Yeah. Cause if people sleep on that hoop group, man, I see it. <laughs> that black court, man, that black court ain't no joke. Yeah, you, 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 I see people get up there and that it get yeah, tight, man. Get tight. <laughs> it get tight, man. I'm Real like, tight. I'm like, I thought you was who you said you was. Uh -huh. You just, just three straight turnovers. What, mm -hmm. what you doing? You taking bad shots, so they gotta they gotta see it. and I see real hoopers in that hoop group. Like people sleep on it, yeah, but yeah, it's yeah. real mid major hoopers in that in that hoop group. Yeah, they go yeah. they go get it like. Exactly. Yeah, I'm like I'm thinking I'm like you sure? You sure that's only place you're going? You got no more. We had some we had some sneaker teams come to hoop group and thought it was sweet. Yeah, yeah. got dubbed up out of there. Mm -hmm. It wasn't so pretty. That was a boo, wasn't it? Oh, even was that pit. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Where's that Pittsburgh this year? Sneaker team's walking. I'm gonna that black court. That black, if you ever wanted to get some good games, go to that black court at Hoop Group. It was sweet. It's, it's crazy. Yeah, man. Ran up out of there. How, how did you think, like when I uh, followed y'all that one year, how did you think that helped y'all brain or do you think it helped y'all brain? Oh man. <laughs> yeah. Shout out Locked and Loaded. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people doing what we was doing. Uh, we was the first to do that. Don't, I don't want anybody to get that misconstrued. <laughs> we was the first one to do locked and loaded, all of that. Yeah. So all those great value ones, they're doing that now. We've been did that. Um, it's crazy. I'll be seeing them. I'll be watching them. I yeah, we've been did that. So we on to something new now. So we, we gave them something to do. Now they follow the <laughs> blueprint. So it is what it is. So you do think it helped? It helped oh, the yeah. kids? It yeah. definitely helped. Definitely helped. The crazy thing about it is it's always something new. I think we're coming we'll push it to the limit now. Never I think know. we should be saying never know. Never know. Push it to the limit. Never know. I mean, <laughs> people can see the inside, the ins and outs of, of, of stuff happening, man. And then, you know, you, you see it all put together. It, sometimes it comes together like magic. Mm -hmm. so. It was it was crazy because y'all were winning every, everything. Yeah, that was. We was doing our thing that year. Yeah. Them boys, but them boys. We took them boys that nobody wanted, mm -hmm. just like they said. We took them gritty, grimy kids like the Isaiah Parkers, the Daquan Leach, mm -hmm. the Caleb Butts, the Caleb Dawkins, Matt Mencia. We took the Tim Montgomery, took them kids, mm -hmm. the Danny Bannister, the, the kids. Everybody said, man, them kids ain't that good and, and, and went through everybody. That's how we want to do it. Mm -hmm. That's how we want to build this program right here. That's that's what these guys are going to do this year. They're going to take that 17U team. They're going to build it the way they want it built. And they're going to win that hoop group circuit this year. So you're stepping down from coaching. Y'all running the 17U? They right? running the 17U. Because I know y'all doing 15, what, 16, 16 right? 16. Hey, look here. Look here. It's their show. <laughs> it's their show. That's what's up. That's what's up. You're not coaching, is it? No, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Feet out like 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 James Dolan. I'm sitting in the rap. Yeah, so sure. what's your plans? So what kids you? I don't know if I want to say any names, but what kids y'all looking for? Uh, I mean, names wise, that committed already to play with y'all, if there are any. <laughs> you know what I'm it's a dirty game out here. So. <laughs> Can't leave nothing. Can't give no tips. Yeah, no, we can't say no names oh, like man. that. But 
we definitely got our eye on a few kids. And uh, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully they want to get out, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, man, we're gonna be up tempo, running and gunning. You know what I'm saying? We gotta we gotta, you know what I'm saying, really lock in and try to get those kids that's like I, I keep putting the emphasis on mentally tough. You know what I'm saying? You you gotta be mentally tough. Because it's gonna be some times where, you know what I'm saying, you might not have your best game, but you know what I'm saying, that mental aspect can, can take over, you know what I'm saying? You will, you will be in any game. Because you do other stuff, man, tangible. You're not looking for a bunch of divas, man. Divas, you might somebody crying, not want to be coached. Like, we're going to coach you up. We, why, why would, I never understood that. Why would, a, you know, why would a coach tell you anything stupid? Because you're a, rep, you know, you're a representation of them at the end of the day. So we're going we're gonna to coach you up, but we're going to coach you up in a level of, we're going to give it to you like, you ain't that good. Let's get better. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're going to push you. It's, it's about pushing. It's about pushing the play. That's all we're about. We wanna, we're going to put put you in a position that you don't want to be in and make you uncomfortable so you can be better because a lot of kids are just so comfortable. They do this. I know Westbrook do this with the baby, but the kids like that, it's like, dang, man, I don't really, everything good. I don't really have to work hard. And they think it's going to come to them, but you have to. This world, this basketball world is crazy. I mean, yeah, you can be good in, on your team or in your area, but who's to say you're going to be that same good guy when, when you're meeting that team up top or down south? Um, or uh, Midwest or whatever whatever the case may be. You gotta be able to, you know, you gotta put on. But you also gotta put on with your players. You can't be an individual trying to just, you know, doing it for yourself. Put on, when you get on, you gotta put on for your brothers too. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's how you win. If you win, coach is gonna see it. You keep going out there to these tournaments and you losing, they ain't gonna watch them games. I, you start at the beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On Friday, you at the beginning of you in the front. <laughs> you keep losing your ass in the back. You on the court 30, 36, and nobody got there. Nope. You wonder why the ball should be sticking on the ground. They don't, they don't even go to the games. When they're when losing, they be like, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. especially if you're driving home now. So the kid, yeah, you know, that room. The one of guys that's, that's locked in mentally, like Coach said, and they and they and they, they really want it. Like they know that they they the underdogs every single night. You know what I'm saying? It's gotta be that. I'm going to bust your ass right now. I ain't, ain't nothing to it. Like that's got to be your mindset. If that's not your mindset, then there's nothing we can do for you mm -hmm. because you already know it all. Obviously, you know what I'm saying. You think you're already good. So yeah, we we want those guys that's gonna really come out and that's going you know that's gonna work hard regardless of what the situation is. And mm -hmm. we're working on that, man. We, you y'all ain't seeing us, man. We at we we damn the area showcase. Mm -hmm. We're we gonna get these. We gonna we gonna watch these games. We gonna evaluate these players. We're not worrying about you doing something against a. a I ain't gonna go there. Man. <laughs> <laughs> that's a weaker team. Yeah, we can We ain't gonna go there. Team, yeah. we, we know how to decipher talent, man. You gotta do it against the best people that's in your area. So if yeah. you're not doing it then, then I'm not, we're not really trying to hear about it. It's, yeah, it's, you I'm gotta gonna, be consistent with it. Don't come talking to us because you had a good game versus a hickory or something. <laughs> and then you out here losing by 40. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Don't, 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 don't do that. <laughs> Crazy, man. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, do you think the kids are tougher now, or are they more? Because when we were, because we when we was in high school, like we used to hate to play big size. See, like when I was at Tallwood. But the second semester, <laughs> yeah, I knew it. <laughs> when we, when we get our studs back on the court. We get our studs back. Yo, we we, we gonna play y'all. Like, it's like their team was like, I don't know, it was failing off. No, they was like, <laughs> no, they they kicked off. It was failing, all right. It was going crazy. <laughs> Man, we used, we used to be Gucci in the first half, but <laughs> the second but half. They always, they always gave us a battle, like, mental battle, because some kids, bro, kids at base side, they always tough as hell. And that's what we try to put in our players now, though, honestly, man. Like I said, we played, we was we from that era, man. We we played at base side, graduated from base side, football and basketball. And it's just that aura that base side had, man. It was, you couldn't, you couldn't go around and people out the gate, you could go. I used to go to come out Chesapeake and they like, you go well, they say, oh, that's the bad school. Damn. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, that's just a persona y'all put on us, even when we go to games. Like, a lot of people, fans ask us now today, damn, y'all, why the refs ain't y'all? Couldn't tell you, bro. They been like this for a minute. Like, even when we was in school, we not getting no calls. But you gotta be mentally tough, you gotta play through that. You know what I'm saying? You gotta. At least with that that Bayside background, it's more like man, you just gotta have it. Like you should wanna, you should wanna prove people wrong. You should let them know we not what y'all think we are. We better than that. Yeah. But we trying to change. We we're we're definitely trying to change that that mentality in that in, in our area for that. You know what I'm saying? And hopefully, you know, we don't we trying to do that with push too. You know what I'm saying? Like 
that's the other outlet when you go that's in between high school and then AAU. The AAU get to display that also with your with your city team push. We going out here and we representing a program that everybody is playing as the underdog. Mm -hmm. So if you on this team and you got that across your chest, you should know that nothing's gonna come sweet. You gotta go. You gotta go at whoever in front of you. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta go at whoever in front of you. Let them coaches know that sitting on that sideline that you a ball player. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You're not just any anybody. You gonna bust the dude that's been killing in Baltimore all year. You know what I'm saying? It's gotta be yeah. something of that sort, yeah. like. That's how. That's how you got. That's how. That's the mindset you gotta have. It only take one game. But, I mean, you, said, said, I mean, I mean, you hear it. Game. But you hear it. Even even last year, you hear it. Like, I mean, they had coaches come up last year. It's like, yo, man, that dude right there, he's a killer in Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. My point guard gonna bust his ass. It's as simple as that. Whatever you think he gonna do, my point guard gonna shut that down. Whatever you think that kid gonna do, our player gonna shut that down. We gonna let you know he ain't that good. We need his spot. We hungry. Yeah. That's how that works. We hungry. We need we need what he got on his plate too. We need to bring that back to the seven five. I feel like now the public school is more a lot well in this area is more talented than private school. But like when you was going or when you switched over, I feel like the private school was like the thing to do out here. Like what made you from go leave PA to go to Oak Uh it was it was for me. I just thought it was a better opportunity at the time. Um, I played with some real good guys, and we played a lot of teams that I wouldn't have played playing public school basketball. Mm -hmm. We traveled, uh, we played against some really good teams, so I, I wanted to play against the best. Um, they wanted LeBron in me, we were hopping with mm -hmm. you know, Chris Bosch and Dwayne Wade. Mm -hmm. uh, I wanted to play against the best, and, and that's what we did. We played the best, and I wasn't, I wasn't going to get that in public school at that time. At that time. I felt like the first person to like do a reclassing situation was what's his name? Ah, Pleasure. And I feel like after Pleasure did it, yeah. Pleasure did it, because Pleasure was supposed to graduate with me. He graduated like two years after me. Yeah, yeah. And then went to Oklahoma. And then after he did that, I feel like everybody, yeah, like Wi-Fi, the whole way, yeah. yeah. It's just got to be the right opportunity. I mean, the best situation for you, pretty much. Uh, some people just reclass, just to reclass. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you. It's not. It's not for everybody. Yeah. Um, it's a family decision. But we seen a lot these days. <laughs> reclasses, reclasses, yeah. fifth year. But you gotta put the work in. Uh, you, 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 you your gotta, game ain't changed. I see, I see, yeah. yeah, I see a lot of kids reclass. You can't reclass and have the same game you had the year before. My thing is, you can't <laughs> it don't make no sense. You can't reclass me 19, 20 years old out here playing against these kids and these kids still give you that work. <laughs> how, how does that work? Yeah. <laughs> twenty year old grad you you're twenty years old, you twenty years old still playing against high school kids and these high school kids out there giving you work. And it's like what was the purpose of reclassing? I felt like they just see what the social media is doing. Yeah. Like the top the top kids that slam and all his life follow up. They reclass or they go to prep school, so mm -hmm. our area, yeah. they automatically think that's the wave to mm -hmm. do or that's the I mean, that's, end thing to do. But that's everything. That's just like every time a kid dunks or make a good play, first thing they do, what they doing? Put the camera. Mm -hmm. I, can text, I can text messages while they still in the locker room or DMs while they still in the locker room. That's that's crazy. Crazy. I can't even think like the coach let them get to their phone, man. I was about to say that. Did you catch that, Did you catch that dunk? <laughs> That's true. They definitely be looking at y'all cameras. But first time, yeah. but game and then the next play down there, they ain't got a free layup. Yeah, that's why I don't say what game I'm going to anymore because I feel like the game changed. Like, it was a kid on Maury. Like, every time, like, it was like, bro, pass the ball, bro. <laughs> pass the ball. But he's a good player. He got a dog in him. But when he seen that camera, it was dope. Yeah, every time he scored. Every time he scored. <laughs> 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 <Yeah, laughs> So who do you think is the best players from out of later years to come out of this area? Yeah, a lot of them. Yeah, nah, we really do. Mm -hmm. We really got a lot of players that came out of this area. And you know the funny part when you, you talk about this, like the kids nowadays don't know the guys that came out of this area. Yeah. Which is sick. They don't even know. I got kids at our school that don't even know who the hell came out of their own school. Yeah. So it's just like, are y'all keeping up with what's going on? Like, do y'all know the severity? Do y'all know the history of anything? See, they, don't, that's they, don't, they don't care about the history. They care about yeah. themselves. They, they, care, about they care about what's going on right yeah. now. What's going on right now in front of me. It was a kid that didn't know what Percy Harlan was. And he played football. <laughs> Probably that's, that's crazy. Like, like, come on, man. He's one of the best all-around football players 
in the history of football in this area. Yeah. I feel like it's, it's his fault, but it's Percy's fault as well because he ain't come back since he left. But he did a bike and have to bike and football, but like you said, yeah, you gotta know. Who that. <laughs> yeah, you gotta know that. Come on, man. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta know that. He's won like, at every stage in life. Yeah, yeah, that's just like that's just like going at Hampton High School and not knowing who Ron Curry is and mm-hmm. man pitch on the ball. <laughs> High school All American Player of the Year, football and basketball, and you don't know who he is. Come it's on, like man. everybody. It'd be like Iverson. That's yeah, just it. yeah. Iverson. Nobody yeah. else. Nobody else came out this area. But yeah, I mean, they did Google search. <laughs> that crossover was nasty. It's all. Oh, they'll put their kids that they seen in school like, bro, this is the best person that came out of, of the school, period. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> I just heard somebody talking about like Salem basketball, like, <laughs> your man's the best one that come out of Salem, period. And I'm like, how can you say that? Like, yeah. there's been way more people before him. Like, yeah. they paid for before him, so you can't say that. But I, you can't fault them so much as they don't know. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I'll, I'll be getting that they don't know. Like, just like being on the side of the court. The kids think they know so much, but they don't know. When you break, start breaking it down and asking them, they're like, oh. Uh, and then I'm like, oh, you didn't never knew. So yeah. I, need to, I need to switch it up because you never knew that terminology. So that's on me. I should have I should have been I should have been a little bit more conversing with you. You know what I'm saying? I should have been talking a little bit more and I should have, you know, I should have broke it down a little better. But other than that, these kids don't know, man. They think they know everything, but they don't. So that that's another that's another piece to being a coach with these kids, man, you really gotta, you gotta hone in, you really gotta teach, you gotta teach. The kid at base, I don't know who EJ is, that's crazy. Bro, <laughs> you just said the picture on the wall, right? Picture on the wall. I said, y'all know who that is? There's a couple people, him, Smoke, uh, uh, Trey, they on the wall, and the kids like, I don't know who that is, I'm like, that's my style. They definitely be at y'all games, they definitely be at y'all games. That's crazy, they be coming to support y'all. So, you know, you just gotta get to it, man, the kids don't get it, man. I like that. It's like that at Creek too. It's like that everywhere. <laughs> it's like that everywhere. <laughs> they haven't had that many. Yeah, years. right. <laughs> yeah, man. You but they got two. And they got two. Man. You go like it, Hall. You smoke. They got Scott. They got Scott. You still have Andy Hall. But you still got to put your boy Brad's in there. Brad's out. James Anderson. Yeah. yeah. Chris Crocker. And you got to put your boy in there. What's your boy name? I don't blow Charles. Oh, Corey Love. Corey Love. Yeah. Super Superpowers. And then when Corey played, they won. They won that John White. Well, they ain't win it, but they was the best team around here. Watch out, man. No, no, I stop, heard stop, heard stop. stop. They was tough. Uh, Salem had the best basketball team in the history of sports. I was gonna beat people, man. Gil, Chris, Zod, Donner. Yeah. yeah. I heard that team was super crazy. crazy. Yeah, yeah, I heard that team was yeah. super crazy. When I first moved down here, when I was coming from New York, everything was Sebastian. So I used to argue with Darius like crazy that yeah, Sebastian was better. And then when he went to the league and John didn't, I was like, what are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> but that was John's fault as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was trying to get him on the show. John come to the show. But <laughs> I feel like every time like I try to highlight him, it was like, yo, I praise you. Like you, you, you're nice. I heard so many stories about you, but I feel like everybody, he thinks. Because he didn't get to the league, nobody cares about him. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like he's still not a legend. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, legend. People still he talk about him today. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. He's cool. Yeah. He yeah. cool. today. He cool. Like he think I'm gonna like turn it around and make it like a bad nah, nah, conversation yeah. instead of praising him. You know yeah. what I mean? It's good. Darren got him on the staff at Kentsville, so that's facts. That's good. Yeah, good. I know you've been trying to get a coaching job forever. Yeah. Contact me, John. <laughs> <laughs> so, do y'all still be Twitter beefing like I used to last year? Uh, the I don't know, see, it's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> it's the problem man. A lot of people think beef, that ain't. It's basketball, it's competition, uh-huh. man. Yeah. Because I see y'all at the game, y'all yeah, talk all exactly. the time. You see us at the game, we yeah. all talk. It's yeah. just competition. That's, that's a problem with this, this generation and the age of some adults and some kids. You can't have competition without beefing. Ain't no beef. Yeah. It's basketball. It's yeah. called competition. Let's take it out of context. Let's take it out of context, context. Take it out of context man. Even last night's situation, like they don't the kid, they ain't been playing on the yeah, same team. They all team. know each other exactly. It's so I don't even see why it would like yeah. stop the game and yeah, all that. Yeah. Yeah, that kind of is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so how how how's it been going though? Like, have y'all still been in a situation that y'all still been trying to compete? Because I feel like that one year. Y'all was playing each other. That was probably like the most viewed. That's one of the most viewed games that was on my site. When yeah. I played against Cam and Yeah. I think that was, that was a good. That was it's epic. It yeah. was epic. It was good for the area. Um, 
You know, we ain't ducking no smoke. They yeah. still dubbed us, but we ain't ducking no wreck. Yeah. There's been other programs we call. Uh, they talk a lot on Twitter, but they don't want to play. Closed door scrimming. They don't want to play. It's all about, about hype. I feel like that's the best situation to get all the, like, especially last year, because it was, what, like, about four? Four teams. Yeah, it was team push. push. Seven, uh, five, seven. Wag. Seven, yeah, wag. You know, boo. Yeah. But I mean, and y'all just all thank you. Like, like, like I said, everybody. Up. Yeah, like like P said, everybody got that 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 thing where they don't want to get beat by the, the kid across the street. Yeah. Uh, simple as that. Like if you get beat by the kid across the street, then the kid across the street can run around and tell him, "Hey, look, man, we I just stomped him out. Hey, he don't want no smoke with us." And the thing is, the thing is, is it, if you get stomped out, is you gonna go back and get that work again? And see, we the type of people is like, okay, what? Well, Line him up, let's play. And you beat us, you beat us. We we come back and play again. Mm-hmm. We ain't ducking nobody. That's one thing we ain't never done. We ain't never ducking nobody. I've seen it that y'all always been asking me, like, hey, oh, especially on Twitter, it'd be like, whenever y'all want to play. Yeah. 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 Whenever y'all want to play, man, I'm going to come out, man. It's a game, man. man. That's the only team that I ever played. Was, yeah. And that was in who group? That was the only team. Yeah. Well, a lot of home games. Have y'all ever played up? A lot of home games. But you see what they're doing with uh, Virginia Beach. Like, they're building a new. Yeah, that's sports place. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna be tough. I feel yeah. like, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I feel like they come. trying to they yeah. trying to take uh, take everything away because I I guess in the Hampton area, it's like nothing for the kids to do after they play. You know what I'm saying? Like when we go to Pittsburgh, mm-hmm. yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah, after the game, I mean, they could, kids can still go out and yeah. have fun. I feel like yeah. everybody gonna be at the beach. Yeah. Well, I mean, we've been I've been talking to Hoop Group about uh, bringing bringing some stuff down here as far as like maybe like a top 100 camp bringing that down here running an event at that at that new field house when they get it up and running so i mean things it, it's stuff that's going to happen it's it's going to be some stuff that's going to happen it's just a you know a matter of you know just making sure everything all the puzzle pieces fit make sure everything is in line but it's, it's we got some stuff in the works that, that we're trying to get done down there then of course uh you know uh, we've been talking to Terrence about putting on an Adidas event at that new sports place when they get that open too. So, I mean, he didn't own it. I think it happened. I think it's going to happen. It's going to happen. How's the Adidas merch? Y'all, y'all laced up, man. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to those guys. Yeah, yeah man. Bring up, man. Adidas people, man. Shout out to Adidas. Shout out to Terrence, man. <laughs> I mean. Yeah. We we just try to we try to make sure, man, that like we we gonna take care of the staff. It's as simple as that. Like, I mean, these guys will tell you, like, I ain't you know, it might be a day we might be like, yo man, we, we running up we running up to, to the store, we can get some stuff. It just is what it is. You gotta take care of the people who take care of you. That's how that works. Ain't no we ch- try not to leave nobody behind and treat everybody the same. You treat your coaches the same, treat them good, make sure they happy. You you got a happy program, happy coaches make a happy program, man. You know what I'm saying? What's the coaching staff this year? What is it looking like? Oh, what teams y'all gonna have this year? Well, I mean, we looking like two seventeens like last year. We thinking two sixteens, two fifteens, uh, seventh and eighth grade team. They gonna be running on the middle school circuit, on on the hoop group middle school circuit. Uh, so yeah, we 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 definitely making some noise. And then like I said, with with us doubling up on the boys side, and then us running the girl side also. Cause you know what I'm saying? They, cause they're a big part of this thing too. Once we put it all together, man, it's it's gonna start to get crazy. Yeah, y'all don't. Do y'all have older girls or just the young girls? Just young girls. Just young girls. Got the sixth grade studs. <laughs> 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 he gonna, he gonna, he gonna put his foot on that. He gonna put his foot on that. He gonna put his foot on that. Ready, man. And they ain't ducking no smoke either. And we ain't ducking no smoke. <laughs> How many girls do you got? Six, seven, and eight. No, we got sixth we got sixth grade right now. We and, and we, we 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 making we're we're doing the the uh the pretty much the groundwork on you know getting more teams. We just got to make sure we got quality candidates coaching, making sure we ain't getting no nobody that's that's uh what's the word I'm looking for? Lame duck, janky. Weak guys. Weak guys. Yeah, we you know. I mean, because it is what it is at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Like, I like I tell these guys, and they know. Like, if you can't have a conversation with him, if, if D-Will can't have a conversation with Damo about something that Damo did and they can't come together and figure that shit out, 
then he don't need to be on his staff. Now, me and Peter's the same way. Like, we can be somewhere and we can be arguing. And you can be like, man, look at that, they don't even get along with each other. We know what we're doing. As long as we know what we're doing and we can come together at the end and make it work. That's all that matters. But he can't be scared to check him. He can't be scared to check him. We don't, want no, we don't want no <laughs> weak. That's what I'm saying. We don't want no weak man. You know what I'm saying. I mean, that's that. But that goes for players, on the coaches. We don't need weak-minded individuals in this program, because if I say something to one of these guys and they get offended, when they know it's not even personal, you know what I'm saying? I might be telling you, yo, you might gonna do this, man. Clay, man, shut the fuck up. I know what I'm doing. Okay, well, I mean, well, I'm supposed to get mad, go get my feelings. Nah, it don't work like that. Because at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying, we all on the same team. But he can't be scared to do that. See what I'm saying? So once we get it all together, once you, once you get to that point and you know, okay, well, we all good and we all working together, man, that's what we looking for. So when we, even when we look for coaches, it's like we ain't looking for weak-minded coaches. We're not looking for yes men on these staffs or these teams. We're not looking for kids that's going to say, yes, coach, yes, coach, yes, coach. Tell me, what, tell me what's going on out there. And if you can't get it done, how I want you to get it done, then maybe I need to put the other kid in, or maybe you might be able to tell me something that might work better for that situation. But I don't need nobody that's just, yes, coach, yes, coach, yes, coach, or him sitting on the bench saying, well, we gonna run this. All right, it sound good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. Come yeah, on, man. Yes, guys. We, like, brand, we don't need that. A brand chasers, man. We don't need that, man. We don't do that. I mean, but you get it all the time. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to be funny. You get it all the time. Whereas, like guys, they just agree with whatever the hell the head coach said. Mm -hmm. What the fuck you on the bench for? Why are you in there? Yeah, I remember the the, the year I was following y'all. I mean, y'all had four different coaches. Y'all, I mean, y'all all had opinions. Y'all all had game situations where yeah. each one took like I don't know the head. I guess the head. Even though you would stand up, but you would take charge, you know what I'm saying? Well, was, was in the zone. It yeah. worked together, man. Yeah. Well, Me sometimes, I, 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 I ain't perfect. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you shut the fuck up. You, you fucked that up. But if I messed it up, I messed it up. You know what I'm saying? But it, it take that. It take that on a coaching staff. You know what I'm saying? Like, to, to make it work. He ain't there to just, just agree with everything that guy said. Nah, no, I don't look like that. You think they get sleep on these road trips? <laughs> Tell your ass up, man. I'm the angry car earlier. <laughs> what the hell is that? Hey, look, I ain't thug. <laughs> I still. No. <laughs> I'm on bro. bro. I'm on bro. I'm about to say, I still got that video. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's the next question. How many, uh, Tournament, so do y'all got y'all scheduled planned out? Well, we, we got, got we got a schedule planned out. We got a schedule planned out. We'll 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 looking, at, looking at uh, Pittsburgh, uh, spooky movie. I might, I might have to make that Pittsburgh. Atlantic City, yeah, you got to make that Pittsburgh trip. Atlantic City, uh, I don't know. I'm, we, I'm thinking uh, under the radar down in Georgia with Sean. It's just, it's just, yeah, they, we, we. That's the thing. That's the thing about it is, is like. You know, he, he runs an event down there and he got some hitters. Mm -hmm. And he gonna give you all the, he gonna give you everything you want down there. Like when we went down there, I mean, when I took Dejour and, and, and those guys down there, man, first game out the gate was like Alabama Challenge. And then you came back and you played Team Spates. And then, I mean, he, he was just lining up hitters. And it was like coaches everywhere. Like everybody was down there. It was like right after the uh, EYBL. And they left the EYBL and came straight to his event. And it was, that jump was crazy. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, my thing is, is like taking them down there. If they, if they feel like, if these coaches feel like that's the move, taking them down there and uh, seeing where we at, man. It's as simple as that. You know, put, put them out there and roll the dice, see what we come up with. You know? But it's all on how these guys feel like we moving. If they feel like that's the move, then we'll make it. But we do have a schedule that we have, but you know, of course things can change. But we are on, we are running boot group circuit. That we are, that's a definite. So what do you think about like <clears throat> I know a lot of coaches or high school coaches, they get mad when sometimes y'all at the games. Or because they feel like y'all yeah, trying to talk to the players or not letting the kid worry about high school 
and worrying about AAU season before you play. Because they're like, when, uh, what's his name? Cam, he didn't even play high school yeah. in his sophomore year. He was just like, I'm on straight yeah. play AAU. What do you think about kids just doing that? Like, like Jaden Epps, what if he just stopped playing? I think they still need to play high school sports, man. Um, it's good for them to, to bond with the other kids in the area, man, and um, work on your game. It's also good to train, but it's, it's better to, to use the things and train in the game. So I'm not, I'm not for this sitting out thing. Yeah. I think it's going to start an epidemic um, where you got kids that sitting out that shouldn't be. Um, mm -hmm. it, it hurt the game yeah. of basketball. Um, mm -hmm. That's something for pros to do. So I, I definitely don't agree with sitting out. And then I think they kind of, I think some high school coaches kind of take it the wrong way too, where they think we're trying to impede on their seasons, where it's like we just watching the kids. You know what I'm saying? Like we just, like we just watching. We, we talk to the kids the same way they talk to the kids. We just watching. Ain't like we out there, like telling them, you know, what to do or how to do it because we ain't coaching them. We just out there watching them. I think the problem comes in with like the high school coaches and the AAU coaches where it's like everybody's trying to put their name on that kid. Mm -hmm. Where it's like, well, you know, I got that kid that offer. Well, to be honest with you, you didn't get the kid anything. The high school coach didn't get him anything. The AAU coach didn't get him anything. His own talent is what brought that offer about. Everybody should be working together to help the kid yeah, instead yeah. of trying to put their name on the kid. You see what I'm saying? Like, I ain't worried about, like, well, I put this kid in school and I put this kid in school and I put this kid in school. What, what difference do it make as long as they go to school? It shouldn't matter. Oh, he played for this program and he going pro. Congratulations. <laughs> Call me when you send you a check. Yeah. I mean, it just is what it is. I mean, I guess that's why people want to tie their names to certain mm -hmm. kids. To get that check later. Yeah, well, I mean, maybe. Maybe if they get a check. I mean, you know, maybe. You know, some of these guys, they get to the league and they appreciate you. But what difference do it make if, you know, I mean, I don't understand it. To be honest with you, I don't understand it. You tie your name to a kid just to say you play with your program. I don't understand that. Like, I mean, that's just me. I don't, oh, I, I got this kid, this kid, this kid, this kid, this kid. They all came back. You know, they, they worked out in the gym. Hope they working on the game when they ain't playing. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it. it I don't know. It, it's it's crazy. Cause I don't I don't look at it like that. I don't look at it like me tying my name to a kid just cause he got in the school or just cause he playing overseas or playing professional basketball. That ain't that serious. Well, what do you think helps more in this area, playing AAU or playing high school basketball? I think both. Yeah, I think you gotta use you know that traction that you got from AAU to carry back to your high school team. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Because you look at a school like, like us, you know what I'm saying? We're not really in no showcase of game right now. Mm -hmm. So we can get a kid that can play and get some publicity, you know what I'm saying, in the AAU world. Then he come back and, you know, you, you got to follow him now. So they definitely got to use that to their advantage. I felt like that happened with AJ last year. Oh, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. there wasn't a lot of people at Green Run games. I mean, it was people there because Green Run support their kids. Mm -hmm. yeah. but. After you know he was doing well, and slam Jane. <laughs> that's, that's after he got on that slam video. Everybody in the world was like, oh. you know, it's crazy because after I made my video first, mm -hmm. Andrew hit me up and was like, who is AJ James? <laughs> and then I was like, bro, he, like you serious? Like, that's 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 yeah, but then he was like, right, I'm, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go record him. Yeah, that, yeah, that's, that's how that happened. We ain't got no choice but to be happy for a kid like AJ. Like, yeah, yeah. Really seeing him put in the work and grind. Ain't got better every year though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Most definitely. And he ain't Ryan. Ain't going on that play every game. Yeah. 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 That was the, that was it right there. Yeah. 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 I'd be good watching. Yeah, I'd be happy for all the kids to make it out. Best do it in a long time in this area. Yeah, mm -hmm. man. That's just like Calvary Temple. I was happy he made it. Mm -hmm. Happy he went to school, period. Mm -hmm. Like, that kid had. His to, story is yeah. crazy. I he keep went through so him. many His obstacles. Story. I was talking so about uh, Daquan Lee's dad. Man, yeah. He was at like, breakfast one time. He was just, I was like, 
I didn't know none of this shit about Kanye. <laughs> he went through so many obstacles, man, just for him to even, you know, just to get to school. Mm -hmm. And him being in school, like, doing well. Like, he in school, like, he's at Livingstone. Of course, everybody has something to say about that, too. But he's at Livingstone, man, and that kid is it's succeeding. Like, he's doing his work. You know what I'm saying? He's going to be back on the court next year. They didn't give him a waiver. But they, he's going to be back on the court next year. He's going to tear the sky up. Yeah. Like, he, there's, there's no if, ands, or buts about it. The kid is a... His senior year was crazy, too. Man, watch yeah. the highlight thing. Shit, I was going to all the Fever's games, yeah. especially when they put, like, Hampton or Bethel yeah, or yeah. Mitchville. Yeah, you yeah. had to see him yeah. play. He was gonna put on. Even when they played John Marshall, that jam was crazy. Yeah, that jam was super yeah. crazy. And you should you you've seen that he was the best player on the court. Yeah, yeah. no fans about it. Ain't he not selfish? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, that. And what came with me with that injury? He came off that injury like that, like you just grind it. Yeah, yeah. It's a kid that grind it. Yeah. For not going to the doctor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He had a G. surgery. He was a G. <laughs> yeah. But all that have says some shit. B Rose then he did that. <laughs> 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 so it's like one of those years where it's like, yo, you already know. We know what it is. Everybody else pretty much know what it is. It's like this is our year. This is our year. This year, next year, like probably like the next five years. We gonna run. We we gonna as put. As long as y'all get them kids, man. As long as kids, kids. But see, that's the thing. I feel like the kids gotta believe in y'all too. But that's the mm -hmm. thing. Like when you see, like, and it's, and it's crazy because, like, when we go when we go to games. Like even even though these guys coach high school basketball, when like me and Pete go to games, people are like, "Yo man, thanks for coming to the game." Yo man, I ain't know you was coming. Like people literally get excited. Like mm -hmm. you know, I mean, I ain't trying to be funny, but it's just like, whoa, this wave is getting bigger, and it's getting bigger every year. And it's just like with the work that these guys are putting in, and the work that I put in, the work Pete put in, and you know, Terrence and Adidas, everybody getting behind us. It's just like it's just getting bigger and bigger and bigger and it's just like to the point where we know that it's gotta happen mm -hmm. and it's gonna happen you know what i'm saying we just gotta make sure that the right pieces are in place this is something as that i feel like i keep marketing well i need to get an instagram i keep telling this guy to get an instagram <laughs> i feel like that, that that's a lot of the kids ain't yeah. on twitter bro yeah. Instagram is where it's yeah, at. a lot of it's kids like, ain't on Twitter. You're right, but a lot of coaches are. <laughs> that's the key. A lot of coaches are. That's right. Yeah, that's why. And, 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 and like I said, I ain't, I mean, you know, I ain't, ain't, but it's ain't I'm not trying to be all over the place, but I need to be centralized where those guys are. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, these guys that had an Instagram, Facebook, so oh Snapchat, God. whatever the hell these Somebody kids is doing. Yeah. Oh they ain't, ain't trying to ain't trying to be funny. I don't I don't know too much about them. I know that I know the Twitterverse. So I don't know IG and the rest but of that stuff. Dude, the reason I say you gotta do it because the reason I got it, see I don't make a lot of like highlights mm -hmm. on Instagram now. Like I might put the raw highlights yeah. of the game, like probably like five clips of the game. Mm -hmm. And then to make them go to my YouTube page to watch it because only you you only on YouTube you can monetize your videos. You can't monetize mm -hmm. your videos on gotcha. IG. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's just you gotta make them go to everything. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. He's been in the game. <laughs> You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. I'm gonna let them guys hold that IG. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't, I ain't messing with it. I ain't messing with it. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, we got a good we got a good group of coaches. We're gonna have a good group of players. Uh, we're expanding every year, so it, it can only get it can only get bigger and better. It can only get bigger and better. Like I said, I mean, like these guys said, they won't hear from the one and done. I didn't. I'm not here for the one and done. Mm -hmm. When we fold this thing up, we gonna fold it up. All of it. it's just it. It's it's over. But we we don't plan on folding it up for at least another twenty years. I put my stamp on that. Like, like I was telling, like I was, yeah. But like, but we looking for that too. Don't tell nobody. But, <laughs> but what I'm telling you is, is the thing about it is, is that's the one thing that we got that some of the other programs don't. Where it's like the guys who are at the forefront of this thing, like like all the coaches that are at the forefront of this thing. Like if I if something were to happen catastrophic, and and say I went to day, like these dudes can keep this young running for another. 20, 30 years. Ain't no one man above the crew. I've said that before. 
I've been saying that. Ain't no one man above the crew. So it's just like, if something happens, we can still keep it going. This man right here got another 20, maybe 30 years to give. I got another 20, 30 years to give. These guys got another 20, 30 years to give. Where are the other programs at? When it comes to longevity. longevity. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? So you might not fall in line now. You might not. You might not believe. You might not see the vision. You might not. But eventually, you're going to come back. That's how it works. They're going to come back. You might say, man, I, don't, man, I ain't playing for push, man. And then, next thing you know, they got, might call me. <laughs> hey, man, well, uh, you know, uh, hey, hey, can I come out there? Can you, can you, talk, to, can you talk to Damo? Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, I'm not, I'm, I mean, it happens because you know sometimes kids do things and you be like, man, why you do that? That don't make no sense. Yeah, I mean, no, so is it the kid or the parent? It can be either or. Well, yeah, I think that's I mean, your Y'all hold, never hold anything against a kid. Mm -hmm. But man, some of these parents is outrageous, man. I'm sorry, I'm gonna just. <laughs> you, ever had, you, had, you ever had a parent to be like, well, I ain't paying for nothing. He need two pairs of shoes and <laughs> everything for free. Shit, who is Brian? <laughs> I mean, Brian, not Brian, me. Brian. <laughs> Brian. <laughs> I mean, I, I know since I've been doing it, you know, so I don't really interact, you know, with the parents on that on that type of level. Mm -hmm. So I haven't really dealt with that, but I I know for sure them two dealt with it, man. Mm -hmm. Nah. <laughs> not that kind of program. We ain't trying to buy you. Um, we ain't trying to give give nothing to you. It's not it's not who we are as a program. It's not what we stand for. So you ain't gonna see us walk in the gym and, and try to bribe kids. Well, that ain't what we know. Um, been there before. It's not gonna happen. Man. Walking in with them new dames. Yeah, you gotta be genuine, man. You gotta, you gotta know it too, though. Yeah. The bottom of your soul, man. You gotta know it as a player, man. Like, damn, I know. I know I'm not that guy that's getting all these offers, all these Twitter posts, all these IG posts. I'm gonna just go out here. If I'm if I'm blessed to meet this time, I'm gonna bust. I'm gonna bust whoever whoever has in front of me, and that's how I'm gonna keep it moving. That's the only way. You, that's the only way you gonna get an offer. You gotta beat the best man in front of you. So yeah. ain't nothing else. Ain't nothing else against that. Everybody think it's on. Somebody's gonna come and say, here you go. Mm -hmm. I just swear to God, I love those highlights. <laughs> No, it's not work like that, my guy. It don't work like that. It did not work like that. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Oh, okay, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, cause it be so many times, man, where I send like a cut up of like say something you did or something somebody else did, and send it to a coach and say, hey, man, look at this. They be like, yo, Clay, I like that. That kid, he can play. They send me the whole game for him. Yeah, <laughs> and then you be like, time. you be like, damn. The game feels like that every time. Like, damn. Like, like, man. That's why I started posting hey, what, a lot of the yeah. more of the full game. Yeah, the coaches like, want to see that man. Like, Yo, what what game did you play good in the game? <laughs> <laughs> I tell them from start to finish, man. Because even body language, man, coaches see that. Like you can't, yeah. you can't be coming to the sideline, shining your coaches, shining your play, shining your it's teammates. Great, man. But on the sideline, <laughs> all on the bench like this. Like, I mean, unless you, unless like, you got it like that. I told you, it's one thing that I I never forget. Like that one iconic picture. That <laughs> whoever, yes, that PA picture. The when those girls was oh. on that bench and they was sleep and they but they was beating the hell out of that team. <laughs> the girl was on the day on scores table sleep. And I was like, yo, you gotta be kidding me. But I, I looked at the box score, she had like 20 points that game or something like that. <laughs> that was a VCU game. Yeah. Right. And she was on the, yeah, she was on the sports table sleep yeah. during the game. Yeah. I was like, yo, you gotta be kidding me. Yeah, the but, girls but, are different. Though. Yeah. They different. But around here, don't get me wrong, around here is a lot of time. Mm -hmm. And the one thing around here, kids got the advantage over kids from other places. It's like these kids don't quit. Like mm -hmm. some of these kids just don't quit. They just like pass. They just they they will nag you and bug you. Like like don't get me wrong. Jeez, Jamal Madison. Madison was 18, that's your last night. Jamal Madison. <clears throat> dude, like if somebody's playing against that dude all game, man. After a while, you got to get tired of him. Yeah, that's a, that's you got. I mean, kid, don't, he man. is a, he's kid. complete. Yeah. Dog, like he is a he's a dog the whole game from start to finish. Like you you got to get tired of it. That's one thing around here that kids got that kids other places 
most of the time do not have. And their kids around here will break your will. Because after a while, man, you get tired of that. You gonna get tired of it. You know what I'm saying? All night. They play 32 but, minutes, man. But yeah. <laughs> Them boys play 32. That's why I do. That's why I say yeah. that. And I love Kings Four. I love, I, I like that team. I like the coach. I like the players. I like everything about that old. I like everything they do from goddamn walking out of the damn locker room. It's, a, it's unity, I love that. Yeah. But I knew something about Norview, them, them boys been playing yeah, different. Just just, I feel like Norview was going to the game because they play in that atmosphere. Yeah. Yep. And like, yeah. Like, yeah. It don't matter who they play. Yeah. And, like and, like yeah. and like he said, like them. And like he said, them kids got a lot of games under their belt yeah. together, yeah. man. It don't matter they got a lot of games under their belt together. The parents don't win every time. I'm, glad they, I'm glad they stay together because prior, last season when I was doing that, Behind the scene, they said they was gonna leave and go to Maury with Clarence, but then Clarence ended up leaving. Yeah. Leaving. So yeah. you see how that worked. Though. You know what I'm saying? Not trying to be funny, but you see how that worked. You stick uh-huh. with what you you yeah. know, man. At the end of the day, you gonna get them wins, man, because they, they gotta play at the end of the day. Like no matter what you call, you they gotta play at the end of the day. But I like that roster, man. I like I like that. I like that. I like yeah. Northview and that five A, man. They 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 getting it done. They got they big man is out right now, but they. They guards are playing. They doing everything else. Number five. What number five man? Okay, Joe. Sorry, four. Number four. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Probably, yeah. Probably, yeah. 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 Ye
And then you know he'd be like, man, he'd be back. He'd be back. And most of that, most of the time, some of that happens when, when a program they, they see you winning. Mm -hmm. So they, they figure they can take a, a piece here, a piece there. And they get those kids and they ride the bench. Mm -hmm. You see them at another turn of me like, you did that to sit on the bench. Yeah. After we already told them, <laughs> you were sitting on that bench, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the whole the thing is the situation. It's, it's the situation where, you know, kids think it's better sometimes to sit the bench mm -hmm. than to play. Right. And no, but no, because of, the, cause of, the, cause yeah. of the brand and the circuit. Like, uh -huh. these kids actually sometimes get sold on the fact that. Like it's better to come off the bench or sit the bench on a circuit team than to play. And sometimes I'm like, bro, like who is telling you this? Like, I ain't I ain't trying to be funny, but who is telling you this? Like, just because you play on that circuit team, that don't mean nothing. Well, they might get in when they go on the team out or something. <laughs> now, no, I mean, and no disrespect to the circuits or anything like that, because they got some they got some kids up there that can that can really play, but. Some of the kids that leave for these circuit teams knowing that they're going to sit the bench. Like, they know. Like, there's no chance of you starting. You can see two, three people in front of you. And you still leave the team that you was playing on to play on that circuit team? For what? Just to say you own the circuit team? That's like that. Basic followers, I guess. Yeah. I mean, that's what you wanted. What did you say earlier? Bad social media. Bad social media. Yeah. 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 It's definitely a difference on playing on that circuit. 15 you, 16 and you. But that's 17 you. That, that's a different monster right there, man. Mm -hmm. And that's where a lot of kids, they fall off. You'll see a lot of kids that play on the circuit team freshman year, sophomore year. Everybody not making that, that 17 you score. Yeah. It's a different breed, man. <laughs> I mean, real, they man. considering the fact that, like, if I can f fly people in, that's just like us. If we ever, we get to the point where we want to start flying people in, like, like seriously, <laughs> and like, like, not, 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 and not trying to be funny or anything like that. Say we get to, say we say, okay, man, it's a kid in Kentucky that we want to fly in, and we we want this kid because he's six nine, and it's a kid from mm -hmm. North Carolina. We're gonna make sure he gets here. And he's gonna play on this team, and he's like six nine, or six eight, or six six, or whatever he is. Then there go two roster spots. that's going right there, off top. Mm -hmm. Already knowing that you already know that half the team, you already got in the back of your mind. As long as these dudes show up to play, you got them too. So what? Okay, if you're good, why would you leave your team? If you know they're getting looked at, and you know that they're getting marketed right, leave your team to go play on that team, and you will sit the bench. I ain't, I never could understand that. When I seen kids doing, I was like, like what? What was the purpose of that? What was the purpose of that? We had kids do it last year. What was the purpose? You went, you went from a team that pretty much was in the fight with this team. I mean, give them everything that they can handle. Mm -hmm. They left, went to another team, went to the team that, that they was giving them everything they got, and set the bench. Oh, and could have stayed on our team and got money all year. Could have kept prospering. So a lot of building, you gotta compete. You gotta want to compete, though. That's what that's what, that's what we've been talking about the whole time. But it's, it's a mindset thing. You gotta want to compete. There's no way I'm. There's no way. He the number five man in the nation, and I and I beat him, and then I go join him the next day. That makes no sense. That makes no sense because I'm trying to get wins. Nah, I'm trying to beat the next man. You six, you the seventh in the nation. I gotta beat y'all because I ain't even ranked. I need to beat the people that that's right in front of me. I mean, that's at least the mindset that I would have. It's not like I don't know. It's just a new generation. It's and I blame LeBron James, bro. <laughs> you want to you wanna, you wanna go join somebody else? It's, it's been that way. And then they, I'm not even, a, I used to love KD, but I can't love him no more because of his moves, like the Golden State. And then people uh, go at him, but they got to understand Brian, Brian built that. And then I think the kids build off of that because kids love LeBron James. But when, so it's going gonna, it's gonna to be, I want to be around. Why not, bro? You good, I'm good, he good, he good. Let's go, let's go to such and such. 
For what? <laughs> and you was AAU. You supposed to play together now for the spring and the summer, and then y'all go against each other and compete during y'all high school be. season. That's just how it's supposed to be. Like and then see who 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 the best. It's not no oh that's all three team up. And then when y'all lose, what's the next? What's the end game of that? Oh, it's Get the coach. Now nah, they call us the coach. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not the coach. It's John. But, but he tells us because you know, and I know, like these kids, they adore LeBron. Mm-hmm. They adore him. Jordan would have never did that. No. Jordan would have never left the Bulls to say, "Yo, I'm going to go play with Bird or Magic." He would have never did that. Never. But they like that though. So I mean, it's, maybe it's just the error. It's maybe the error. I don't. You it's know, I don't error. know. But like the older guys, man, they. Man, okay, well, we can play on the same dream team together for the United States as one and yeah. go out here and bust everybody else's ass. But when, they get, when we get back to that league, I'm going to give you everything you can handle. Every time. You got to want to compete. That's the only thing. And it's just a mindset thing, man. So they got to date. That's something you, the kids got to hone in for themselves also. They got to hone in that they want to compete and be better than the next man. That's, that, I think that's going to take our area, 75 wise, to the next level. Because we keep. Cause we get these teams and we getting, you know, we we getting the. We're very lopsided. Yeah, we're not. We are not winning. So you gotta. I don't know, man. We just gotta get it together though. It's having five. Though. We gotta get it together, man. We, we gotta start that teaming up. That teaming up shit. But we gonna team up and push. We gonna give everybody everything they can handle this year. I can promise you that. It gives y'all more passion about coaching AAU, which is basically you're working for free, than coaching a uh, high school team. Why wouldn't y'all want to do that? Well, I know y'all do it with y'all assistant. Yeah. But would you want to coach baseline one day? Of course. Oh. <laughs> that's a dream job. That's a dream job. That's the end game, bro. That's a dream job. I mean, what, I mean you, love, you love what you're doing. You love helping the kids, man. You're going to try to do it year-round. And then especially now, basketball is a, is a year-round game or sport. So you basically playing from January all the way up until December. Whether it's AAU, whether it's the regular season, postseason, fall league, they got spring league now. So mm-hmm. you you playing year round, man. And I was just giving the kids the opportunity, man, uh, get to the next level. And, and for me, it's more than basketball. Uh, it's important what you're gonna do after basketball. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, back when we played, it was go to school. Everybody gonna try to be a sports agent. Yes. And they ended up most of them being PE teachers. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's important when you go to school, what are you going to major in? Yeah. Now, what's your plan after basketball? So, if you don't plan on having them kind of talks, then it might not be a good fit for you. Um, because that's, that's the part that I'm, I'm interested in. Life after basketball, what are you plan on doing? What do you want to major in when you get to college? Um, NBA is cool, everybody not going to make it. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's just knowing your lane. It's just, like I said, I think I can make a uh, uh, more of an impact, you know what I'm saying, with AAU than I can high school basketball. And then it, it, it's never about the money to me anyway. I, you know, like it, it's just dumb. It, it ain't about the money. So it ain't. I'm not trying to get no college job. I ain't trying to get no high school job. And it, it never really drove me. The thing that drove me was helping the kids in my area get to achieve their dreams. You know what I'm saying? So once they start achieving their dreams, and it's like, okay, well, shoot, Clay help me do this. You know what I'm saying? Clay help me do that. When I played the team push, those guys, they pushed us to the limit, man. It was the funnest something I had. You know what I'm saying? And I got offers with them guys. That's what drives me. You know what I'm saying? Just, just make people a better person after. You know what I'm saying? After the fact. Right. Mine the same, but revert back to what I said earlier, man. I know for me, I always say, you know, a coach, mentor, and a motivator, man. It's, it's almost like, you know, I'm going to piggyback off P, man. It's just, you want for the kids at the end of the day. It's not about nothing else. Like, that's why I do it, honestly. Like, me personally, I do it for the kids. I didn't have that outlet. So it's like, I know what y'all need to do. And I'm going to push the fuck out of y'all. Like, because I know. That's the biggest thing. I know coaches should tell me, yo, I got the gym. I can get in here. But, oh, we winning. So what the hell I need to be in the gym for? Right. You know what I'm saying? Taking, taking days off when you got to be in. You got to live. You got to live and breathe that basketball shit. That's what you say you want to do. So with me, that's why I said we, we're going to push you. We're going to be tough on you because we know what it takes to get there. And I know. We link with these guys, man, because it was just 
felt like they felt the same way. Yeah. Same way we felt the same morals. It was like, it's for the kids. I haven't seen them go do anything outside the kids yet. So I, I gotta keep respecting it, you know what I'm saying? And I think that's what's gonna build the brand. That's what's gonna help us grow as a as a as a team, as a unit. Honestly, this brand I think is gonna grow with how we how we think, you know what I'm saying? Because that is like I said, it's for the kids, man. We're not trying to come up off nobody. Yeah. We're not trying to we're not looking for you to be like Everybody ain't shot me on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're not looking for that. It's just like, yo, go do your thing, but we want to help you get there. Like, yeah. P said the most valuable thing, though, man, is what you do after basketball. Everybody keep forgetting that. That shit ain't going to keep dribbling forever. Oh, yeah. And we, we all seeing that. This world, this world is crazy. Mm -hmm. This world crazy. Like, I know I can say it personally because I'm, I'm hitting it and, and you full running, but you, you want to put your players there, too. That's why we were talking earlier about out of the comfort zone. We want to get them out of their comfort zone. To help them for reality, like reality is here. Your parents ain't gonna be there forever, so you gotta try. And, that's why we try and grab them from the parents, and then we we get them that hard, that tough love. Let me say that we are gonna give them that tough love, and then you know you go from there. But other than that, yeah, that's that's definitely why I do it. Man. I think, and for me, just to go back as I think about it, like my my story is a little different. So I'm the first one in my family to purchase a home, first one to have a six figure paying job. So. I see that, and then I see kids mm -hmm. just like me. Mm -hmm. You can do that too. Yeah. And, and I think the printer school, like that's an opportunity that a lot of kids in this area. Exactly. They shine it. They, they shine it. They should. They be they like, they but, should. Yeah. Yeah. but they, I feel like a lot of them still got the mindset that they're gonna make it to the league. But yeah. you gotta be real with yourself. That's why I stopped yeah. playing. I went D three. I was like, man, I ain't playing. I ain't, I ain't going to the league no yeah. more. I'd rather go to a better and college, get this like, money. Yeah. education. Yeah. Get this that's money. Give me, a give me some kind of job. skill. Yep. But a friend of school, I mean, if you what? know that you ain't going there, then you might trade him for years, mm -hmm. and you still playing against college. Yeah, yeah. still you know playing against D2 yeah. competition. Yeah. 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 So. Yeah. And they play Division One teams. They play North yeah. State. They should have played mm -hmm. him. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I talk to a lot of kids because I love, I love the staff over there. Coach Sparks, an AD Coach T. I, those guys good? are good guys, man. Yeah. And a lot of kids in this area, I don't get it. I really don't. I don't get it. And I try to talk to them and say, this is a great opportunity. Do you understand what it is? I try to educate them and tell them. Even some parents, like, do you understand what's, what your kid's going to be doing? Be working, getting paid, getting an education, getting a trade. Yeah. Um, something that you can't take a trade away. You can do that in work, out of work, uh -huh. for yourself, on your own business. That's uh, right. So, exactly. it's a great opportunity. Did I miss out on anything? You miss nothing. You ain't too much. You <laughs> good. Hey, come in, as always. Exactly. That's 2020, Hoop Group, we about to have you. Lady Push. That's a fact. We on the road, we getting it. We expanding. It's getting bigger. Lady Push, say that again. Lady Push, That's Team Push. Team. That, that sixth grade team is a mock. They coming to a city near you. You better watch it.